from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Good morning, I'm Dia Riley. We'll check in with Greg D in just a moment for a look at your forecast. But right now, I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. Some developing news from overnight. Tampa police are investigating a shooting this morning where at least one person was injured. It happened at a gated apartment complex off Verde Lane. We're still working right now to get more details, but police say the victim was airlifted to Tampa General Hospital. We'll let you know as soon as we have an update. Meanwhile, deputies in Pasco County are investigating after making a shocking discovery. They say skeletal remains were found in the area of U.S. 19 near New Jersey Avenue and Hudson. At this point, no other details have been released. Florida is fining an Orlando abortion clinic over a 24-hour waiting period law. The state says patient records from the Center of Orlando for Women show procedures were performed on the same day 193 times in April and May. Because the state allows a $1,000 fine for every violation, the clinic now being ordered to pay $193,000. The facility says this fine could actually shut them down, so they plan to challenge it in court. However, a hearing has not yet been set for the case. St. Pete police have handed out more than 100 steering wheel locks for free, and it's all in an attempt to curb a rash of car thefts targeting Kia and Hyundais. Within the last two weeks, St. Pete police worked 36 car theft cases. 12 of those were Hyundai and Kia cars. Both cars don't have an engine immobilizer. That's an electric security device that prevents the engine from starting up unless it has the correct key. Hyundai sent 108 steering wheel locks over to St. Pete police, and the department is working right now to try to get even more. The grand opening of a first-of-its-kind crypto experience center happens today. It's called Coin Flip, and the corporate office is located at Sparkman Wharf. Mayor Jane Castor got to see it firsthand yesterday. She says the center is going to help educate people who are interested in cryptocurrencies. All right, stop me if you heard this one before. Tom Brady once again suggesting that he might retire soon. Speaking on his Let's Go podcast, Brady said he has more responsibilities now that his kids are growing up. He also pointed out for the past 23 years, he's not been able to celebrate Christmas or Thanksgiving with his family. Brady retired after last season, but then unretired just 40 days later. I don't know, Greg, I think he might really be done this time. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Puts more drama into this season. Of course, uh, the Bucks want to know right now. Uh, we're excited to see them on the field again. Temperatures out there in the 80s as we go through the afternoon. Upper 80s to around 90. Yesterday we hit 90. I think we'll do it again today. Scattered thunderstorms, but not in the morning. I think a lot of these are going to be late in the afternoon and evening as our winds shift offshore today. A transition day with our rain chances relatively low early, but coming up above 70% as we head towards the evening drive today. Tonight. Have a great Wednesday.